Hey, that was a fail at the tail right there. What's up, everybody? I'm going to end it a minute early. Yes, a whole minute early and stop this motherfucking elevator music. That is the last time that I'm going to play that. Mark my words. Mark my words. That is the last time you guys will ever hear that as a live stream countdown. How are we doing, everybody? Tonight, Mr. Fernando Hanan. Loyalty right there, everybody. That is the definition of loyalty. Every single live stream, they are front and center. Usually we'll have to do strikes here, but, you know, he's just taking it easy. Crystal, uniquely yours. How are you doing, Crystal? Love you. Hope you're doing well. Um, Sophie Fitness again. Guys, the, the Clutch subscribers are always tuned in. It means a lot to me. Seriously, can't tell you how much it means to me. So... Um, apparently Hanan stopped watching Harry Potter to tune into the live stream tonight. Fuck me. My leg is still bleeding. Okay, everybody. I was in a little bit of a hurry. Hair's all over the place. I was in a bit of a hurry. And that's what happens when you shave your legs in a hurry. Just take a gander. Should I flex now? Just kidding. I'm not flexing. It's just all an illusion. Um, yeah, I hate that. I need to like get on that, but um, it's annoying. But it's always like before I do my live streams that that happens to me. Um, my band aid fell off, unfortunately. But we have paper towels. We have paper towels. Um, uh, yeah, that's kind of embarrassing. But I've done much more embarrassing things in my life such as burning the fucking skin off of my fingers. Is that blood or grape juice? It can be grape juice if you want it to be grape juice, but grape juice you drink, and I do not suggest drinking the blood from my leg unless you're a vampire. In which case, I'd recommend that you leave this live stream ASAP. As soon as possible. What do we have tonight, everybody? The drink of choice is the drink of champions tonight. We have Sprite Zero. Then, what else do we have? I'm gonna show you guys right now. We're getting a little bit in depth here. In depth, boom, everybody. Check out the action that we are working with. There's just oven roasted goodness right there. Guess what fish that is? Guess, guess, guess. I had chicken last night. Um, got some more over there. But more importantly, everybody, I'm gonna show you what I'm going to be having post dinner tonight because Mr. Electric and this is one of the few times you guys will see yeah, do I have to ban somebody already it sucks not having a moderator um, anyways everybody I'm going to be showing you some pickups that you will see in the next vlog oh which reminds me because you guys are going to get featured in the next vlog because we are live streaming right now. Say hello, everybody. We have Hanan, Sophie Fitness, Lou, World Class Douchebag is still MIA, but we're doing the best we can right now. So shout out to everybody that's tuning in. And we're about to have some dinner. So guys, ladies and gentlemen, what do we have? What do we have that's new? On the agenda, I just want to say, everybody, that if you haven't heard this from me, I will reiterate it, but this is the best flavor of Special K ever. The best flavor. I don't care what anybody says. If you disagree with me, I'm sorry. But you're wrong. Just have to let that silence linger before you say a statement like that. Because you are wrong. The next thing, everybody, that I got, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was craving popcorn. So I want you all to post down below what your favorite methods of making popcorn are. For me, I have a gigantic plastic bowl and I put a plate over it. I put popcorn, I said put said popcorn in the bowl, then microwave, and then top with garlic salt, and that's my method of making popcorn. Now I have heard of 
other alternative methods such as cinnamon and sugar on top of popcorn. I usually just put salt, but um, everybody has different ways of making it, I'll say. So that is mainly what I want to show you guys. I'm very, very, very exciting. As you can tell tonight, I hit a very significant, put it very, we'll put it that way. I hit a significant PR today, everybody. Folks, family, friends, we are 10 pounds away from four plate deadlift. Hey yeah, guys, if you're on my Instagram, you'd know firsthand. Uh, so I'm stoked about that. Honestly, guys, it is not weight that is huge by any means, but we're making progress. I'm going to set this over here. I would say we've been making progress, but it's just a little. I mean, it gets even more than real when you get to four plates. Just going to put that. Say that right now, just be completely honest there. Um, let's see. People are saying they use salt and butter. I've never heard that for making popcorn before. Let's get some other good feedback as well. I'm trying out a new stand, by the way, tonight, guys. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this angle. It's all about that half natty angle. Uh, what do you think of the glycemic index? Oh, gosh, that's a good one to start with. I'm not going to start with that right now, though. I can just short answer say that it's bullshit. It is lay the lay bullshit. Okay, so you guys should be able to hear right now. Shit. You guys should be able to hear the crispness of my voice via, no, now, now, now you should be able to hear, wait, hold on. Now you should be able to hear the crispness of my voice. Ooh, slut shamed. Stop it, you slut. Um, yeah, so what's up guys? How are we doing? Um, guess what is behind me? Oh, wait, that's food. Eric puts his food on his couch. Uh, your voice is charismatic. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Beniska LaBelle says, how are you today? I'm doing, you know, honestly, I didn't have a great day. I started it off horribly because I had a migraine, but I got my graduation day today. Date, I should say. So I'm doing very good. We'll put it that way. Um... World Class Douchebag says, sorry, I don't feel like being in the stream right now. I just fought with my parents about some stupid shit. Sad face. I'm very sorry, uh, World Class. Um, what, what is, well, shit. Oops. Fail. Um, one of these days, buddy, you're going to need to actually tell me your real name because you've been a moderator of mine for about a year now, and I still don't know your real name. And that to me is pathetic because you're my buddy. And fuck this piece of shit. Sorry guys, this is bugging me. Um anyways. You're my buddy. And I'm here to support you, dude. So I'd love to know your name. I will also say that uh respect your parents as much as possible. Everybody um uh, be thankful that you have parents still in your life that are still alive not that mine aren't but a lot of people don't have that privilege um okay you know what I'm gonna do? put this right there about that that eh, works better for me a lot of people don't have that privilege um so yeah just be thankful about that as much as it hurts i know a lot of you old subscribers are under the age of well i'm gonna flex the traps here should i do this everybody Looks of traps. I did train. I did some shrugs today. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, that looks horrible. Um, anyways, do as much as you can to take advantage of being at home. Like I was starting to say, a lot of you are under the age of 18. So just live it up while you can. I'm just going to say that right now. Train to look good naked, motherfucker. Fucking killing shit, god damn it. 
That is what Mr. Cassidy, yes, I know who you are, my friend. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, go check out this motherfucker's channel. This guy is funny as shit. Literally, he's killing it. Um, I I have to step up my trolling game, sir, because I am nowhere near your level. But I hope to one day be near your level. Um, yeah, you're my boy. We got to collapse soon, though, dude, because it would be fucking epic. I don't know where you live, but it would be pretty fucking epic. Um... Mirtha Gamer says, my sister took my car and went out to a bar. Should I be worried? You should be worried if she's coming over here, sir. Oh, fuck that. No. Um, don't know. Don't know. If, if your sister is prone to tindering or getting with the wrong guys, you should be worried. People are probably wondering why my food is still sitting on my couch right now. But um, I look up to you kind of because I recently was in the hospital for anorexia. This is Tanner. Tanner? Thank you for the kind words, sir. And uh, my message box is always open if you ever want to talk or anything like that. Shane says, I had 6,000 calories today. Well, Shane, props to you, but I will most likely be having a triple of that tomorrow. Um, yo, Eric, with a CK, do another Krispy Kreme challenge. No, thank you. Um, I've been contemplating doing a Krispy Kreme cake. If you've been on BuzzFeed or I think Food Beast did it. They did a nice little recipe of that, so that might be next on my agenda. Um, Cassidy, collaboration with me and Eric Konevsky would be epic. <laughs> my boy, <laughs> Mr. Konevsky. Uh, Eric actually lives in LA, which is somewhat close to me. But um, yeah, it'd be awesome, dude. We could do like an eating challenge or something. That'd be pretty fun. When you meet up with Travis S. again, most likely for the Arnold, if I do get time to go to that, I will go. Um, yeah, pretty much it, guys. As I said, everybody, I had a pretty epic lifting session today. I did like 30 minutes of cardio today, so my appetite isn't the greatest, but I even hit that deadlift fasted, believe it or not, which is crazy. Um, we are about to grab on some food. We have a live stream right here. Got my setup. Of course, we have the goods, the essentials right there. What do I want first? That is a question. Oh, yes, and we are eating with chopsticks tonight. I'm going to be picking up a gigantic piece of fish. This is um, me eating fish with chopsticks. Last time it was potatoes, this time it's, it's fish. <laughs> I question myself sometimes, everybody. Why do you eat so much cereal? Why the fuck not? Is my, is my answer to that question. Um, Eric with a C, when is next cheat day going to be, sir? Every day is cheat day. Is that fish your mom flavored? <laughs> That's good. Your mom probably gave me that, gave you that joke. Owen Keys says, proud of you for the chopstick usage and beard growth. Thank you, Owen. Hanan asks, or says... Serial suggestions, please. Now, here's the thing. Um, I was going to jump right into the live stream and everything, and I realized that I have a pretty provocative title with this live stream, and you all are pretty much wondering why I chose, chose to title this Up the Dose. Hold on. I'm going to let this suspense build after I just said that. It's, it's essential to this. It's still building, guys. Just let it build. Oh, Eric. So, everybody, let me get my mic for this one. Can you guys hear me a little bit better? Can you can you guys hear me a little bit better? Let me know. 
Can you hear my, my sexy voice? My sexy voice. Okay. Abby S says yes. Caitlin uniquely yours. Hanan says yes. Everyone says yes. Okay. So guys, when I when I when I talk about things that are very important to me, I get my microphone. This is just an FYI for future live streams for just things in general. When the microphone comes out, it's serious. And that's SRS, serious. <laughs> Oh, everyone says everyone's saying it's crispy now. Sexy ass voice. Yes, it's crispy, creepy, clean. Okay, now my okay. I need to shut up now. Um, so today, as I was starting to say, um, why well, titled this live stream "Upping the Dose"? Many of you may know that I am on medication. Um, I have severe ADHD. I've suffered from that since, I mean, I was six, five, six years old. Um, started going to school and everything. I got diagnosed with it officially when I was around 14, 14 years old. Um, so I started taking medication for it around that time. And I took it for about a year. And then right around when I was like 15, 15 and a half, I started, um, I kind of look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, so I started doing, uh, well, I started the weight loss routine, the regimen. Um, and pretty much from there, um, I started on a few different drugs. One was called, um, well, there was like Ritalin, Adderall. I mean, those are really shitty drugs, to be honest. Um, and then started with uh, a few different ones, too. Um and then there was a drug called Concerta, and I've talked about this very openly before. If you guys have seen my story on anorexia um, or my anorexia story, you've seen that I've talked about that. Um, that was pretty much what I got prescribed when I was 15 and a half. And um, basically what Concerta is, it's a timed release ADHD drug, uh, methylphenidate. So it's so it's somewhat similar to Adderall. Um, Adderall, Ritalin, those are all more fast-acting um, ADHD drugs. Um, so the, um, the whole deal with that, so I was about 15, 15 and a half and my doctor back then for whatever reason gave me a fucking gigantic dose. Um, like I started at 18 milligrams, which is the lowest dose. And I stayed on that dose for probably about like a week. And then he just jumped straight into like 54 milligrams, 72 milligrams. Just, yeah, it was a lot. And considering I was around like 230 pounds at the time, like it didn't really seem like a lot. Um, but, um, but yeah, so started doing that and that's when the weight really started to fall off. My appetite got suppressed and I, yeah, I lost, that was when I lost like 30 pounds somewhat, somewhat healthily, healthily, healthy. Um, it wasn't rapid. I mean, it was kind of just like, a 15 year old kid running laps around the block playing basketball more. Um, but then I started to like really, my appetite really started to go down and I have like a granola bar in the morning. And then uh, I have like a power bar at night, uh, before I went to sleep and it was just like, that's when weight really started to come off. Um, I took it for the next like year and a half, two years. And that was like over that span of time was when my weight really started to like go, um, I dropped from like 190 pounds down to um, like 140. Um, that was like very rapid. Um, but what really got me was when they actually took me off of Concerta. That was like six months after I got diagnosed with anorexia. Um, but, well, no, not six months, like six weeks. The therapist w went to this uh, psychiatrist that was prescribing it to me. And was pretty much just like, this is the reason why he got anorexia. This is the reason why he's, you know, um, he's not eating during the day because he's on this drug and whatever. And I mean, it had some merit back then. Um, and I could understand that. But um, so what had happened was, you know, the doctor was basically like, oh, shit, you know, I have this psychiatrist up my ass, blah, blah, blah. The parents are up my ass. And so he completely cut concerta out of my life cold turkey. And that was when I was 17. I was a senior in high school 
And I'll never forget to this day um, the amount of depression. Um, like I've talked about being depressed. I've had my depressive days. Um, I have them, you know, pretty well, not frequently, but they happen. But I'll never, ever, ever forget the state that I was in. That was probably like a three to four month period of time. And I was at 140 pounds then, but he cut it cold turkey, like nothing from like 54 milligrams, which is a very, it's a pretty high dose to absolute zero. And I couldn't even get out of bed in the morning. Like my muscles did not even want to move. Um, and that um, led to me literally like that was no food at all. Like I, like they thought my appetite was suppressed on that. Like I would literally fast for 20 hours a day and come home and have like a can of chicken soup without, with no, with no noodles. It would just be chicken soup. And I go to sleep. It was terrible. It was the epitome of masochism. Um, and that, um, led to me being on, I feel like this is just like a total drug talk right now. Um, but that led me to being put on antidepressants, which did nothing for me. Prozac, all that stuff, just absolutely nothing. So, um, then everything happened. And, um, for whatever reason, um, you know, I was able to, to kind of, I mean, the antidepressants did okay for a while. Um, I always talk to people like that ask me about antidepressants and like, I always tell people to stay away from benzodiazepines, which really, really, really mess people up. Um, and yeah, they're just not good. Stay away from them. Just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, so I feel, sorry guys, I'm like going on like a huge story. I didn't plan on, I didn't plan on telling you guys talking this much about it at all by any means. But so anyways, um, I got to treatment. I had to go, I had to do treatment for an entire summer. I, I talked about this again in my story, my anorexia story. So I went to treatment, inpatient treatment, and there was no medication allowed there. It was just simply wait, 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 gain weight, gain weight, gain weight, eat a bunch of food. Um, so I got in the college and then I started up on Concerta again, started 18 milligrams. Um, and I functioned great on that. Like that was a great dose for me. Um, then I decided to just not take it anymore for a year. And then in 2014, I moved into here. Um, so that was around two, two and a half years ago. Um, when I moved in with my girlfriend, um, ex-girlfriend, I should say, um, I started up on again on it again, and I was just getting it strictly through my doctor where I have been for now. Like I've literally just been getting Concerta every single month from my doctor, um, with the approval of a psychiatrist. Of course I have to get, I had to get evaluated in order to get the prescription anyway. So, um, so basically I've been taking 36 milligrams for the past two and a half, two, two and a half years. We'll just say that. Um, but anyways, um, so today I got, um, you know, I, I decided to take it upon myself. Like I consulted with my doctor and everything and I got, it increased to 54 milligrams. I know that there's a few different dosages. Like I was reading on Reddit today. There are some people taking a, f one dude's taking 142 fucking milligrams, 144 milligrams of fucking Concerta. And he makes a thread on Reddit. You guys can still find the, the thread on Reddit. And the guy, he's taking 144 milligrams of Concerta a day. The max dosage is 72 milligrams. Like I saw this fucking thread and I was literally like, dude, how is your brain still inside of your head in your skull? That is nuts. Don't get me wrong, everybody. Um, there's a time and place for drugs and everything. Uh, but like, it's so easy to go way, 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 way overboard on, on drugs. People abuse things. I certainly abuse them for a long time. Um, for me, I don't really, a lot of people are going to see this and ask me like, Oh, well, aren't you worried about, you know, what happened in the past and everybody, um, I, my appetite really like I'm a competitive eater. Like my appetite doesn't like f work like the average person's does like it's just the way it is for me you know um 
so I'm, I'm definitely, I, I, I function so much better on, on it, but, um, my main point is it's, I mean, my tomorrow's my first day on it and, uh, I'm excited to see, um, you know, how I take things. I do feel like I need to increase my productivity levels. My, um, my concentration has just been just shit you know, for the past six months and I need to get, get, I need to get better at a lot of things. I need to manage my time more effectively. Um, so that is, you know, that's the benefits really to, to being on a, uh, on a timed release drug rather than something like Adderall. Um, you know, it's, it, it's basically in various parts of the day, the drug will kick in and, uh, start working really. So, um, but shout out to Tina, Tina X 22 the first, ignorant comment I've seen um, completely incorrect comment saying that ADHD is a made up condition which is false um, but yes just so you know do do more education guys before you 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 spit out comments that um, just make you look silly um, and un un uh, uneducated I have to sneeze I have to sneeze um, I have to sneeze Achoo! That's the first sneeze I've ever done during a live stream. Wow. Um, <laughs> did you ever try a non-stimulant medication for ADHD? I was on one for a while. I did. And um, a lot of the non-stimulant medications are great for um, like preteens. But – oh, my food is going to be hella cold right now. Uh, but it just didn't work for me. So – Everyone wants to bless me, apparently. Um, does it annoy you that ADHD is being overdiagnosed? Do you think it's being overdiagnosed? Um, I did a research project on this. I would say it's a pretty gnarly bone in my fish. Um, about a year and a half ago. And I do think it's being overdiagnosed. Um, but at the end of the day, the pharmaceutical industry is fucking ginormous. Like, and that's an understatement. Hundreds of millions of dollars a year go to the pharmaceutical industry. Um, that's just the way, like all this operates everybody, not just medication and everything. Um, it all, this all surrounds money 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 it's like as my dad always says money doesn't talk it fucking screams if there's anything you guys should take away from all of this that's it um is concerta good for weight loss um here's problem number one if you look to a for example like a fat burner Guys are appetite suppressants. Um, not eating, suppressing your appetite is not good for weight loss. I don't care what any. I mean, it's good for controlling calories, but when the, what this all boils down to, again, my own personal opinion: if you want to lose weight, you need to be thinking fat loss instead of weight loss. That should be the goal for everybody, unless you're 400 pounds, which I guess. I'm going to say, like, none of you are. All fat burners are, are just overpriced stimulants. I, I was watching John, um, obese, my, one of my good friends, obese to beast. Um, him and Brian turned into a video this morning or yesterday, um, about what, like a fat burner that has your, re requires you to take it once in the morning, once in the afternoon and once at night. And there was like 70, is either 70 to 140 milligrams of caffeine in it. And you're doing that multiple times a day. No fucking wonder you're not going to eat because you're hopped up on stimulants all day. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much like not the key to weight loss. Um, and even then, like I said, Think fat loss, not weight loss. What's your fitness goal for 2017? My fitness goal 
for 2017 is fitting this broccoli in my mouth. Not to be rude or anything, but fuck fitness goals. World class says, or I'm say, I'm gonna say Justin says, it boosts your metabolism. Um, thermogenics will boost your metabolism, but it literally, um, the amount that it does is neg negligible. It does not even really make that much of an effect. Most of the people that say, um, well, the, what allows companies to promote these products is. Um, well, they're like, okay, well, it'll speed up weight loss, but the reason why you're losing weight is because you get fidgety and you get, um, you get amped up from the stimulants because you move more, you do more stuff. You don't want to sit down. That's, I, I still, to this day, don't understand what, why people like don't get that. Um, do you have Jaybirds? I feel like you made a video on it because I can't find it. Yes, I do. I have the X2s and they work fucking amazing. I would do like a review video on it, but what I'm starting to do with my channel, guys, um, apart from just food challenges, which the next one's coming up, you should check out check the description and post a recommendation down below. But, um, but yeah. So, what was I saying? Yeah, I like to do. I people have been asking me to review different stuff. Like I have like a Wahoo Kicker trainer, which people want me to review my my guitar, my bikes. Um, like that would be great, but my channel, I'm keeping it strictly for just like my vlogging and my food challenges. And it's kind of the same way that I'm taking with Instagram. I'm really, really, really wanting to get more followers on Instagram. I don't really care what anybody thinks, but I'm a social media guy. Like I'm on Facebook, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on Twitter, which I really don't care about. I'm on YouTube. Like your goal, your goal is to get bigger. And I think it's kind of pathetic for me almost being at 107,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I don't even have more than 12,000 followers on Instagram. A lot of people ask me about that. I think it's just because I constantly, like I post like a food picture, I'll post a food review, I'll post a powerlifting picture. Um, and I'll post like, you know, just like lifting footage, but it's like, it needs to be related to one thing. So it needs to be either all about food, all about powerlifting, or all about cycling, or like one thing, you know. Um, but but yeah, so pretty much what I'm trying to do right now is just keep it all food because that's what everybody cares about. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have multiple. If you guys have a bunch of followers on Instagram and you know what the fuck you're talking about, definitely let me know. Because I've been hashtagging the shit on my pictures and it hasn't worked. Um, people are talking about thyroids. Do you like Asian food? I do. I like Panda Express. Man, I love it when people advertise to subscribe to the channel. So I don't know what kind of advice is being spread. Break it up into six small meals and understand every calorie isn't the same. 2,000 calories could be all fried foods or a balanced diet with plenty of veg, veggies and lean protein. Um, I still don't... Do you, it's like the nutrition battle of the century. Um, is a calorie a calorie? What do you guys think? David Jays says you need to what work on your abs. W O E K. You need to work on your spelling, sir. Chopstick chop. Stick, chop. <laughs> um, I 
calorie is a calorie. Is a calorie from an apple the same as a calorie from a deep fried hostess Twinkie bar? <coughs> hint, hint. Um, who the fuck is this clown? Harry? I don't know who the fuck you are, Harry. Um, I know who Harold is, and he's right there. You sexy ass motherfucker. Um, everybody, a calorie. A lot of people make this statement. Well, they think about this question without taking into account something very, very, very important. It's called vitamins. Vitamins. So is a deep fried Twinkie going to have as many vitamins as an apple or If you think the answer to that question is yes, sorry that you're wrong. Um, that is the reason why if you guys watch my full days of eating, you'll see that I eat stuff that's somewhat bro because I get my micronutrients, but I'm fucking full. I'm not constantly starving, even though I kind of am. I have to be. I mean, don't think of me for a second. Think of the average person, but you have like, if you ate nothing but pop tarts, Twinkies, all this garbage. I feel like this is something I keep talking about over and over again, but you're not going to have good health. I don't care what anybody says. Like, despite you're hitting your macros, fuck that shit. That's why I don't, I don't subscribe to the whole, uh, IIFYM like shit. You know, it's like, there's more to life than that. Like you can, com you can hit your, you can meet your goals, whether it's, bodybuilding or fitness, whatever, um, with, with not tracking anything just by going by the mirror, intuition, common sense, eating bro foods. I don't care what anybody says and just watching the mirror and gauging it by your gym progress. That's all you need. Don't need a scale. Don't need anything. Don't need anything. Um, are you sure it's the micros that's keeping you full though? That's no, that's not what I was saying. Um, Foods that are more filling, more satiating, are typically more micronutrient dense. For example, a sweet potato or a piece of broccoli is more micronutrient dense than a piece of chocolate, even though chocolate has some pretty good micros in it. I guess you could say a Reese's peanut butter cup. Delicious, but not a lot of micros. Sophia Davida. What's up, girl? Um, one apple is, is a hundred calories. You can eat 20 apples a day and you won't gain weight, but you can eat eight slices of pizza and that will make you fat. I won't say it will make you fat, but I mean, unless it's Chicago style pizza, cause that shit is, uh, it's fire. Don't get me wrong, but it's fucking, it's a lot of calories in that. Glycemic index. Um, honestly, I've covered this before. I don't know, guys. Do you guys like me talking about my nutrition? Do you like my nutrition talks? Should I even go on longer than this? Or, I mean, most people just say I'm like a fraud that shouldn't be coaching nutrition at all, even though I'm not even coaching anybody right now. <laughs> but... It's funny because I have studies to back all of this up. I'm just way too lazy to pull them out of my ass and go find them. Um, um, basically, the glycemic index. The main problem I have with the glycemic index, everybody, is that, um, for example, like something with, a higher glycemic index, let's say here, um, a white potato has a glycemic index of, I'm making up numbers, but 86. Um, then the 
So let's let's compare, okay, a white potato to a sweet potato, something with a lower glycemic index, which is quote unquote better for you um, than the white potato. Um, here, these comparing these two foods, um, one would think, and it's actually it's factual that a sweet potato is going to have more micronutrients than the white potato. But where the glycemic index co comes into play is that it's going to affect your insulin levels and that you need high gly glycemic index, for example. This is a very common myth. Hold on. I should get my microphone because this is serious. Um, you need a high glycemic index carbohydrate after you train. Um, or another myth is that you should always be consuming low glycemic index carbohydrates. Thanks to Dr. Oz for that one. And both of those myths could not be further from the truth. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to avoid looking at the chat so I don't get distracted. Um, the big thing with glycemic index, everybody, is um, think of think of what you eat before these carbohydrates. You're still digesting food always. This is this is problem num numero uno with the glycemic index. Unless you're diabetic. In the first place, do you even need to worry about your insulin levels? Um, and and you're not eating buckets of table sugar and white sugar, and you're more likely getting enough fruits and vegetables. That's you know, don't worry about it. You know, I, I promise you, you're going to be fine. Um, but yeah, guys, unfortunately, like you have people like Dr. Oz and a lot of these people that have platforms to speak from so therefore a lot of misinformation gets constantly presented in the media that's why i'm having to talk about this but um willow b says don't low slash high glycemic index foods affect energy levels though again my point here is where i was getting to is if you're in a state for these high glycemic index foods versus low glycemic index foods to affect you normally um, and I guarantee you, like, if you don't believe me, try it for yourself. It's really going to matter if you're fasting for large amounts of time where you're not digesting food. For example, if I do, um, for like the average Joe that does cardio, goes, goes to the gym in the morning, does his cardio lifts, um, and doesn't eat anything until, you know, three or 4 PM at night, say he's doing intermittent fasting. Um, and has his high glycemic carbs, um, and then goes to sleep, like maybe he's going to get affected. Maybe not. Um, where what really, what it really boils down to is if you're, um, you know, if you're fasting or if you're an endurance athlete, uh, think about, um, endurance athletes, guys, cyclists, for example, marathon runners, people that are, um, their bodies are constantly moving. They're constantly digesting food. They, um, consuming high high glycemic index carbs um, might have some merit to it for them. I mean, there's still research being done on that, but really what it really boils down to is being fasted. I feel like people just still don't grasp that concept at all. And um, being, holy shit, somebody found a body. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed about that, but <laughs> this is random. Uh, but what it really boils down to everybody is the fact that your body's always digesting food. You're always really, um, having food in your system. Now I could see it being something now, if you go, let's say you go to sleep at like seven, eight, I don't know who still goes to sleep that early, but, and then you wake up and you don't have your first meal until seven, eight, let's say, and that's 12 hours without food. Um, so if your first meal in the morning is something that's the crazy high, you know, if you wake up and down a few half cups of sugar, you're probably going to see like you're going to get fucking jittery as shit. Like no one does that though, you know? Um, at the end of the day here, guys, it's like don't focus on things like that that really don't matter. Again, if you're not diabetic, if you're, you know, if you have a pretty balanced diet, you should be fine. Don't don't worry about something like that. Um, wow, I kind of just went on a... Uh, tangent slash rant um yeah i don't know lewis reynolds burn says high fat diets oh lord you guys are just giving it to me tonight just go keto or shut the fuck up 
Just kidding. Um, I'm not going to address high fat diets, everybody. What I want you guys to do, because I do this at the end of every single live stream, everybody. is ask me one question. It can be any question they want in the world. I address it, give you a nice little shout out, and of course, tell you how much I love you. So I will let you guys ask those, post those questions below, and we'll get to it. I'll sit here and let's let the suspense build. And I'll flex my no biceps and show you guys my beard, which I actually trimmed for this, believe it or not. How do you guys like seeing my kitchen? How do you like my uh, camera right there? I, I get to film my awesome new uh, uh, dinner B-roll with. <laughs> Shout out to this Brussels sprout because it looks fucking killer. Ooh, Grant Edwards asked a really good question. Lifting goals asks Crystal, and that's to get to a four-play deadlift. Oh, shout out to Emma. You're cute too, Emma. Thank you. That made my night. Appeal to UK viewers. It's 5.15 a.m. Unfortunately, Lewis, I've been doing this for a while now. It's impossible to appeal to any, to, not anybody, but everybody. I'm going to answer. <laughs> Jack Parrot, are you ever going to bulk up? Someone hasn't been watching any videos. Grant Edwards asks, what is the key to being successful? Should I answer a question that actually has an answer, everybody? I think I should. Ooh, Sophia. Holy shit, that's a good one. Do you ever think that nutrition classes will be or should be taught in younger generations, say elementary school, as a way to obesity epidemic in America? I think you mean a way to combat the ob obesity epidemic in America. I'm going to answer that one because Sophia is awesome. And I do believe in this question. I believe in um, talking more about this. The answer to me or for me, I should say, is no. Nutrition classes will never be taught. Um, I do believe they that proper diet and nutrition should be taught to younger generations. Um, I think that in elementary schools, certain elementary schools, it will be. Um, but at the end of the day, people just don't care. They never will. Um, unfortunately, it's my belief that people um, will always really... Um, no matter how bad the obesity epidemic is, they'll always take their health for granted. Um, we all do that. But food and diet are really personal to people. People don't like changing what they do. Um, it's 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 not realistic for me, at least, to to think that we're going to be able to to have somebody change their um, their diet um, and change the way their kids eat. For example, like parents um, in you know, parts of, of, of the country that have, um, like I know Mississippi is one of like the highest obesity epidemics or obesity rates. And I can just see like a family of, you know, six to seven people with, you know, that many kids, like the mom is probably just going to be focused on the cheapest, you know, way to take things. Like until we start making food, I, I'd say micronutrient dense food, healthy food, uh, cheaper and more easily available and um, informing people like if anything i should i think i would think we should actually have more information out there for families to actually know how to cook these things and make them more appealing because the number one excuse people make is oh that's going to taste like shit it's going to taste like shit if i make brussels sprouts it's going to taste like shit so i'm not going to buy them for my kids 
then no wonder no one's going to fucking eat healthy. Like that's, that's the big thing. So, um, that is, yeah, that's just where I see it. So everybody, that has been the live stream. I love all of you. Just so you know, the next challenge is coming soon. Everybody, if you're a little confused on what it's going to be, check the description below. What I want you guys to do is leave suggestions when this live stream gets posted. Let me know what you guys want to see. And I just might do it. I'm still thinking about what I want to make the mountain or I should say the castle out of. So I have a few ideas. Anyways, guys, love you. Thanks for tuning in. World class. What do we say? Go ride a bike. Just make, make sure it's not from Walmart. Later, guys. <laughs>